Amidst the rising tide of climate change, Jakarta, one of the world's fastest sinking cities, faces an existential threat from flooding and sea level rise. To save its capital, Indonesia is embarking on an audacious $80 billion project. A massive seawall and a network of artificial islands designed to shield the city from disasters. But while this colossal infrastructure endeavor promises to safeguard millions, it also raises critical questions about the environmental toll, the financial burden, and the future of urban living in a climate-vulnerable world. Jakarta, the vibrant capital of Indonesia, is grappling with an escalating crisis that poses a significant threat to the city. Rising sea levels, widespread flooding, and concerning rates of land subsidence. With a population exceeding 10 million, Jakarta is sinking at a rate of up to 10 centimeters each year, primarily due to excessive groundwater extraction and the impacts of climate change. Flooding has become increasingly common and destructive, endangering millions of lives and placing immense pressure on the city's already vulnerable infrastructure. In light of this critical situation, Indonesia has initiated an ambitious and contentious response. A monumental $80 billion coastal defense initiative known as the National Capital Integrated Coastal Development, NCICD. This plan encompasses the construction of an extensive seawall stretching 35 kilometers along Jakarta's northern coastline, as well as a series of artificial islands intended to serve both as a barrier against the ocean and as areas for urban development. While this monumental project aims to shield the city from the threats of flooding and rising sea levels, it also prompts a range of intricate questions. Can such a large-scale endeavor truly offer a sustainable solution for Jakarta's future? What environmental impacts might arise from the creation of substantial artificial islands within an already fragile ecosystem? Most importantly, how will this initiative affect the millions of residents who live in Jakarta? As one of the largest and most costly infrastructure projects globally, the Mega Wall has the potential to transform Jakarta's future. But its success will have significant implications for how other cities worldwide address the growing challenges posed by climate change. Number 1. The Origins of Jakarta's Sinking Crisis Understanding the Causes Jakarta is facing a sinking crisis that stems from a combination of human activities, geographical factors, and the effects of climate change. Situated on a delta, the city is inherently susceptible to land subsidence, a gradual sinking of the ground. However, human actions have markedly intensified this phenomenon. A primary factor is the excessive extraction of groundwater. As Jakarta's population has grown, so too has the demand for fresh water. With limited access to piped water systems, both residents and businesses have resorted to drawing groundwater from deep aquifers. The removal of this groundwater causes the land above to compress and sink, resulting in significant subsidence, especially in the northern regions of the city. Moreover, Jakarta's natural landscape exacerbates the situation. The city is built in soft, loose soil derived from nearby rivers, which increases its vulnerability to sinking. The rapid depletion of groundwater, combined with the city's natural predisposition, has led to alarming subsidence rates, with certain areas experiencing a decline of up to 10 centimeters each year. The issue is further aggravated by climate change, particularly through rising sea levels. As global temperatures rise, polar ice caps are melting, leading to increased ocean levels worldwide. Being located on the coast, Jakarta is increasingly at risk of flooding and storm surges. Additionally, as the city continues to sink, the likelihood of floodwaters breaching urban areas rises, threatening critical infrastructure and displacing millions of residents. Urbanization has also played a part in exacerbating the sinking crisis. The rapid pace of development, poor drainage systems and rising pollution have reduced the city's ability to manage water efficiently. While efforts have been made to build better flood management systems, the scale of the sinking and flooding problems remains overwhelming. Jakarta's situation is a stark reminder of how human actions, when combined with the impacts of climate change, can rapidly accelerate environmental crises that threaten cities around the world. Number 2. The $80 Billion Megawall 
an overview of the NCI CD project. In response to Jakarta's sinking crisis and increasing flooding risks, the Indonesian government has launched the National Capital Integrated Coastal Development Project, NCI CD. This ambitious $80 billion endeavor is centered on constructing a massive seawall designed to protect the city from rising sea levels and severe storms that have become more frequent due to climate change. The seawall will stretch over 35 kilometers along the northern coastline, safeguarding Jakarta's waterfront from encroaching waters. The seawall is not the only component of the project. Along with this barrier, the NCI CD also includes the development of artificial islands that will extend the city's coastline and offer additional space for urban development. These islands are intended to support residential, commercial and recreational spaces, helping to alleviate overcrowding in the city's already dense urban core. The islands will also function as a secondary line of defense, absorbing the brunt of storm surges and tidal waves before they reach the mainland. The NCI city is one of the largest and most expensive infrastructure projects in the world, making it a critical test case for other cities grappling with similar coastal threats. The project is designed to address Jakarta's flooding problems, which have led to significant loss of life, damage to property, and a growing economic burden. However, its scale and cost have raised questions about its feasibility, especially given the financial strain it may place on the Indonesian government. Despite these concerns, proponents argue that the mega wall is essential for Jakarta's survival, offering a chance to protect the city's key infrastructure, economy, and millions of residents from the increasingly destructive forces of nature. As the project moves forward, it will serve as both a symbol of resilience in the face of climate change and a powerful reminder of the challenges cities around the world face when dealing with environmental threats. Number 3. Environmental Concerns Will the Mega Wall harm Jakarta's ecosystem? While the NCI City Mega Wall offers a potential solution to Jakarta's flooding crisis, the project has also raised serious environmental concerns that could have lasting consequences for the region's fragile ecosystems. The construction of a massive seawall and artificial islands may significantly alter the natural coastline disrupting local ecosystems that depend on a delicate balance of coastal and marine life. One of the primary environmental risks is the potential damage to marine biodiversity. Jakarta's northern coastline, which includes critical ecosystems like mangroves and coral reefs, could be impacted by the construction of artificial islands and the wall itself. The dredging required to create these islands could stir up sediment, which may affect water quality and smoother marine habitats, particularly those of smaller fish and crustaceans that are crucial to the local food chain. Furthermore, Jakarta's coastline plays an essential role in carbon sequestration, particularly through its mangrove forests, which act as natural carbon sinks. The construction of the seawall could result in the loss of vital mangrove areas, further exacerbating the city's vulnerability to climate change. Mangroves are also important for coastal protection as their dense root systems help stabilize the shoreline and reduce the risk of erosion. The destruction of these natural barriers could make the region more susceptible to future storm surges and erosion. Another concern is the potential for the wall itself to alter water currents along the coast. While designed to protect Jakarta from rising seas, the seawall could disrupt the natural flow of water, which may lead to unintended consequences elsewhere along the coastline. Changes in water currents could exacerbate erosion in other areas while preventing the natural replenishment of beaches and wetlands. Despite efforts to mitigate environmental damage, including design features intended to minimize disruption to ecosystems, the full environmental impact of the mega wall remains uncertain. Jakarta's ecological health is intricately tied to its coastal zones, and any major disruption could have ripple effects for both the environment and local communities who rely on these ecosystems for their livelihoods. Number 4. The Economic Impact Is the $80 billion investment worth it? The Megawall project, with its $80 billion price tag, represents a massive investment in Jakarta's future. But is this colossal expense truly worth it? 
Proponents argue that the economic benefits of the Mega Wall far outweigh the costs. By protecting Jakarta from the devastating effects of flooding and sea level rise, the project could save billions of dollars in damages from natural disasters, as well as safeguard critical infrastructure such as ports, roads, and power plants. Jakarta is the economic heart of Indonesia, and its continued functionality is vital for the national economy. Without protection from the Mega Wall, much of Jakarta's infrastructure could be lost, resulting in catastrophic economic consequences. Additionally, the Mega Wall is expected to generate economic growth in the long term by creating new land for development. The artificial islands will provide much needed space for residential, commercial, and industrial projects. Jakarta is already one of the most crowded cities in the world, and its population continues to grow. The artificial islands could provide an opportunity to address the city's housing shortage, while also serving as a hub for new businesses and economic activity. In this sense, the Mega Wall is seen not only as a flood defense measure, but also as an economic growth catalyst. However, critics question whether such an expensive infrastructure project is the best way to allocate resources. Jakarta faces a range of other urgent problems, such as inadequate public transportation, poor air quality, and a growing income gap. Some argue that the $80 billion could be better spent on more immediate needs, such as improving the city's flood management systems, upgrading public services, or investing in sustainable development projects. There is also concern about the long-term financial sustainability of the Mega Wall. Will the costs of maintaining and upgrading the seawall and artificial islands over time be manageable for the government of Indonesia? Ultimately, the economic viability of the Mega Wall will depend on how effectively it protects Jakarta's infrastructure, promotes development, and addresses the city's long-term challenges. While it is undeniably an expensive undertaking, its potential economic and environmental benefits could make it a worthwhile investment in Jakarta's future. Number 5. Urbanization and Overcrowding – How the Mega Wall Could Shape Jakarta's Future Jakarta's rapid urbanization and overcrowding present significant challenges, and the Mega Wall offers a potential solution. As one of the world's fastest-growing cities, Jakarta faces mounting pressure on its infrastructure, housing, and public services. The city's population continues to increase, with millions of people moving to Jakarta in search of better economic opportunities. The result has been severe overcrowding, particularly in informal settlements along the coast, where residents live in areas most vulnerable to flooding. The Mega Wall project with its artificial islands and additional land for development aims to address this issue by creating new space for residential and commercial projects. The artificial islands will provide valuable real estate for housing, businesses, and industries, helping to alleviate the strain on existing urban areas. Jakarta's current housing shortage is a significant problem, with millions of people living in slums or informal settlements. The Mega Wall could offer an opportunity to build affordable housing and provide a more sustainable living environment for Jakarta's growing population. However, the development of the artificial islands raises concerns about gentrification. Jakarta's wealthiest residents may be the primary beneficiaries of the new real estate developments, pushing lower-income communities further away from the city center. There is also the risk that the new developments could lead to increased property prices, making it more difficult for lower-income families to afford housing. In this sense, the Mega Wall could inadvertently exacerbate existing inequalities in the city unless careful planning and policies are put in place to ensure that the benefits of the project are accessible to all. The Mega Wall also presents an opportunity to rethink Jakarta's urban planning and development strategies. By focusing on sustainable and climate-resilient infrastructure, the project could serve as a model for other cities facing similar challenges. However, the success of this ambitious plan will depend on how well it addresses the needs of all Jakarta's residents, especially those in the most vulnerable communities. Number 6. Social Impact Who will benefit from the Mega Wall? The Mega Wall project is designed to protect Jakarta from flooding and rising sea levels. But its social impacts are a source of significant concern. One of the biggest questions is, who will benefit from this enormous investment? 
Jakarta, with its deep economic inequalities, has a population where the rich and poor live in starkly different conditions. While the Mega Wall aims to provide protection to all residents, the reality of urban development and the construction of artificial islands raises concerns about the equitable distribution of benefits. For Jakarta's wealthier residents, the artificial islands could become prime real estate for luxury homes, shopping centers, and businesses, potentially increasing property values in these areas. This could be a boon for the city's elite, who would enjoy better and greater protection from flooding, better infrastructure, and an influx of economic opportunities. However, the question arises whether these benefits will extend to the city's poorer communities, who are most vulnerable to flooding and whose neighborhoods often lie in the low-lying coastal areas. For those in informal settlements along Jakarta's northern coastline, the Mega Wall could potentially spell displacement. Thousands of families living in these areas rely on access to the sea for their livelihoods, and the construction of the seawall and artificial islands might push them out. In the worst case, they could be forced to relocate to less desirable areas of the city where they might face higher costs of living and worse living conditions. There is also the risk that the development of the artificial islands could lead to gentrification, further widening the gap between the rich and the poor. For the Mega Wall to be truly successful, it must consider the needs of all Jakarta's residents, not just those who can afford to benefit from the new developments. Ensuring that displaced communities are fairly compensated and that the project includes affordable housing and public services for low-income residents will be crucial in addressing the social consequences of such a large-scale infrastructure project. Furthermore, there must be careful planning to prevent exacerbating existing inequalities, ensuring that the benefits of the Mega Wall extend to the most vulnerable populations. Number 7. Climate Change Adaptation Is Jakarta's Mega Wall the future of coastal defense? As cities around the world face the increasing impacts of climate change, Jakarta's Mega Wall is a bold experiment in coastal defense. The city is at the front line of climate change, with rising sea levels, severe flooding and land subsidence all threatening its future. In response, the Indonesian government has proposed an $80 billion seawall and artificial islands to protect Jakarta's northern coastline, but is this model the future of climate adaptation for coastal cities? On one hand, the Megawall represents a groundbreaking approach to protecting densely populated, low-lying urban areas from the devastating effects of rising sea levels. The project is an example of how large-scale infrastructure can be used to create long-term resilience in the face of climate change. Other cities facing similar risks like Bangkok, New York or Miami might look to Jakarta's solution as a template for their own coastal defense projects. The idea of creating artificial islands as both a barrier to the ocean and a platform for urban expansion is an innovative strategy that could have applications elsewhere. However, the Mega Wall also raises significant questions about the sustainability of such large-scale engineering projects in the face of accelerating climate change. Will the sea wall continue to be effective as sea levels rise higher than anticipated? How will Jakarta cope with extreme weather events like storm surges, which could overwhelm the wall's defenses? Furthermore, the long-term maintenance and costs of the wall and artificial islands could strain the city's resources. And here, we have reached the end of this video. What are your thoughts about this video? Share with us in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.